Hello guys, this is the fourth and the last requirement. So what does it say? It says, at information sets that are off the equilibrium path, beliefs are determined by the Bayes rule and the player's equilibrium strategies where possible or whenever possible. Okay, so here this whenever possible thing is a bit confusing, I know. So let me give you two examples. This is the first example we keep working on this since the beginning. And in this example, remember this requirement is all about information sets that are off the equilibrium path or strategy profiles where information sets are off the equilibrium path. So in this particular game, there's uh, just one type of strategy profile where information set can be off the equilibrium path. And it is when player one plays right R with probability one. It really doesn't matter what player two plays. So let's say this is the profile R, D, and some belief system mu. Question is, what should be the value of mu? Well, let's try to use Bayes' rule like we did in requirement three. So remember, mu was equal to P1 divided by P1 plus P2, right? So P1, however, is zero because the likelihood that you're, you think your opponent is going to play L is zero. The likelihood that your, your opponent is going to play left or M is also zero. So, well, zero divided by zero. Well, this is undefined, okay? So what does that mean? That means you can't really use Bayes' rule. So then the requirement four says, well, don't worry about it then. Mu can be anything, all right? So this satisfies uh, requirement four for any mu then in between zero and one. Obviously, mu is a belief, so it has to be in between zero and one, okay? Well, but what is this where possible means? Uh, well, before giving my next example, let me tell you the intuition behind it. Here, remember, R is the belief of player two. So she believes that her opponent is going to play right with probability one. So in this game, she actually doesn't expect to make a move, right? Because uh, she thinks, she believes that her opponent is actually going to play right and finish the game. But all of a sudden, uh, somebody knocks her door and says, well, uh, dear player two, it's your time to choose your action. Well, what the heck? I was hoping and thinking and believing that my opponent is actually finished the game. Uh, without, you know, uh, me having any opportunity to make a move. But now all of a sudden I am facing uh, something unexpected. And in this case, what should be my belief? Mu. Well, remember the mu and the idea of requirement three and four is that your belief about your opponent actions and, and mu must be consistent with each other. But here, no mu is going to be consistent with uh, my opponent's strategy because, as I said, I mean, I was, I mean, it's like I was thinking that my opponent is, is dead, but all of a sudden people tell me that he's, he's alive. You see what I mean? It's like something unexpected happened. And so I can actually believe anything uh, now. So therefore, uh, you know, requirement four says, if this information set is off the equilibrium path for some equilibrium strategy profile, well, then use Bayes' rule if it's going to give you some sensible uh, outcome. But if it doesn't, something like this, well, then never mind. Any mu is going to be satisfying uh, requirement four. Let's consider this example. All right. This game is different. Uh, there are three players. Player one chooses between A and D. If he chooses A, the game is over. If he chooses D, however, player two is going to choose between left and right. And, and then player three cannot observe player two's choice, chooses U or D. So according to requirement one, uh, we have to have a belief probability distribution on this information set. Very well. The other decision notes, there are two more. They are singleton and so they're probability one. So that means basically there's no probability there. Um, so here, let's consider this strategy profile. And the question is, does this satisfy requirement three? And if so, for what values of mu? Well, here, player one plays A and finishes the game. 
player two plays left, fine, and then player two plays you. Well, for requirement three or four, what player three is going to play is irrelevant, right? However, what player one and two will play is important. Well, if this is the strategy profile, first of all, information set will not be reached because player one is playing A with probability one and finishing the game once and for all. And so this information set is off the equilibrium path under this strategy profile. Well, then the question is, what should be the value of mu? Hmm. Okay, so uh, here is one thing that you can do. Player one can play either A or D, right? So this is probability one, this is probability zero. Agree? Okay. What about L and right? So player two is, according to this strategy profile, this is one, this is zero. Again, according to this strategy profile, player two is going to play left with probability one and right with probability zero. Okay? So then what can I do? Well, the thing is, if you try to calculate the Bayes rule from the beginning of the game, all right? Uh, so mu should be, well, what is the likelihood of ending up at this decision note? Well, it's a zero probability times one probability. So zero times one, which is zero, divided by what is the likelihood of reaching to this information set? Well, it's zero probability times one plus zero times zero, meaning it's zero divided by zero. So it seems like I cannot use uh, the Bayes rule. Hmm. All right, so we have another uh, mu equals zero divided by zero, which is undefined situation. So does that mean that this strategy profile uh, with any mu value is going to satisfy requirement four? No. Why no? Well, because here, in fact, uh, it is possible to use Bayes' rule. Uh, how so and why? Well, look at this game once again. So in this game, this information set will be off the equilibrium path simply because one is expected to play A with probability one, all right? So remember the intuition behind, you know, using this Bayes rule. So this mu must be consistent with player's strategies, all right? So your theory as player three is that player one is going to play A and player two is going to play left, all right? So... Player one is going to play A, player two is going to play left. So according to your theory, you should not be called upon to choose an action because this info set will be off the equilibrium path and the game will be over. However, however, let's suppose this information set has been reached. All right. What does that mean? How is this possible? Well, that means player one actually deviated, right? I mean, that's for sure, because you were believing that he's going to play A for sure, but you are called upon to choose an action, meaning this information set has been reached. Well, if this is the case, what is going to be your updated theory? Well, your new theory. Well, well, I was expecting, uh, you know, game is over, but, uh, well, because I am called upon to choose an action, that means one has deviated and played D, all right, but then what should I believe? Well, do I need to change my entire belief about player two as well? Maybe he also deviated. Huh. So remember, all our concepts of equilibrium are like one player deviates, but everybody else keeps playing their strategies. So we are looking unilateral deviations. So therefore, under this assumption or under this, how should I say, approach. Uh, if you are called upon to choose an action, that means player one has deviated, and so you shouldn't change your beliefs, your theory about player two. He probably, most certainly, played left. So if I am in this info set, it shouldn't really mean, right? I mean, I, I should be here, not here, because I mean, for some reason, yes, one deviated, but played D, but whatever it is, 
I do not expect my opponent player to play R. And so, therefore, I shouldn't be here. I should be here with probability 1. Again, so here it's very important that this idea, this approach comes from the fact that our equilibrium notions are fix every other uh, strategy. Only one player can deviate at a time. All right. So therefore, if there is a deviation, a potential deviation, if unexpected things happens, well, that should mean that at least one guy has deviated, in which case uh, I should nevertheless keep my other opponent's strategies uh, fixed. And so if this is the case, how am I going to calculate mu really? Well, that means I should ignore the first player's strategy. And well, for some reason, he played D. All right, ignore that. Well, what's the probability that uh, player two plays left? One. What is the probability that he plays left plus R? One plus zero. So therefore, mu must be one. Okay? What does that mean? That means this strategy profile and belief system satisfies requirement four if and only if mu is equal to one. All right, so uh, that's very important.